I'm Teresa Rowe. My guest is Randy Lanham. He is the educational director at the International Bluegrass Museum, and you're also a professional musician, right? If you want to call it that. Yes, he, is. he is. Now, what am I holding right here? That is what we call in Knott'sville, where I'm from, a fiddle. It's uh, not a violin. Not, uh, technically, it is a violin. Okay. Uh, but really, you know, I grew up playing the bluegrass, country, gospel stuff, mm -hmm. so we always call it the fiddle. I but like it. And you're going to play it for us after I you will. stretch. Yes, absolutely. Okay, Randy's going to do a basic stretch that you can do anywhere. Now, Randy, last time you were on, we talked about your back. Mm -hmm. So I had him just sit on a stability ball because he's relieving his hips and his spine just by sitting on the ball, right? right. Are you doing that at home? Some. Oh, Some. goodness. Yes. Brace I'm not logging the time, but I'm... I know you have I'm, one. I do. Okay. My okay. wife came and got one from me. I shaved my face stability ball, yes. by the way, and I do sell them. Mm -hmm. Great gifts for Christmas. Yeah. They are. Um, okay, so what I'm going to have you do is just sit up nice and tall okay. with your core engaged, and I want you to simply think about your breathing, but exhale as you rotate over to your right side. Just do it nice and slow, and I just want you to hold that. And I just want you to breathe and think about, are, are my shoulders up? Are they down? Can I press them down a little bit? Can I go a little bit further in the stretch? Make sure your mouth is open. You need a lot of oxygen during a stretch. <laughs> there you go. Now rotate to the other side. And as you're doing that, as you're moving, you're bringing your breath. So you're going to exhale. You're going to breathe. Notice, are my shoulders up? Are they down? You know what? Are there you go. Yes. Relax. Okay. Yes. Bring them down in your belly. And, and you're breathing. So your mouth is open. You're inhaling. You're exhaling. And then you're going to go back to the center where you start it. You're going to do that probably five to ten repetitions. And I want you to do that faithfully on a stability ball. Okay? Shape by faith. Yes, stability please ball. do. Okay. And it's great for everyone. I mean, even if you don't have a ball and you're doing it in the chair, do it in the chair. Okay? It'll help the back tremendously. The next one, just simply bring both arms out in front of you okay. with your palm on top of the palm. Okay. And just round your back like a cat. Yeah, and your shoulders come up, and you're rounding, you're breathing, you feel kind of weird doing it, but it's all good, yeah, and okay. release it. Exhale, shoulders down. Okay, okay. let's do it again. Okay. And just try and round, and maybe bring your head down just a little bit, bring your chin to your chest, good, because now you're, you're stretching your cervical spine right there in the neck, along with your back, and then release it again. You're going to do that like five repetitions. This is something that I want you to do and bring every single day, okay? Every day. Can you? I will try. Yeah. It's simple. All right, I'm going to hand you, what's okay. this called? This is a bow. The bow? Yes. And your fiddle. My fiddle, very and, good. And you're, <laughs> you're, I listen, and I like this guy right here. Yes, this guy is, a, it took me all day to carve his head out. It, it was really crazy. Did you? I just can't, no. I'm lying, I'm lying. This, this guy right here is a, it, it's good. This fiddle has a nickname. You see the head here. Uh -huh. This is actually... Uh, the man who made this fiddle supposedly carved his own head wow. on that. And you can see all the, the detail in it. I mean, I cannot even imagine how long it took him to carve that head. But that's not all. Let's yes. look at the back. Okay. He, that's like a selfie fiddle. I mean, yes, you know? it is. Really? On the back, he painted a picture of the man he made this fiddle for. Wow. So custom-made fiddle. Now, a lot of people nickname this the Jesus fiddle because okay. this picture looks like Jesus. Oh, okay. A lot of people look at it and they think that. Like, oh, man, that looks like Jesus. So it's gotten a nickname, the Jesus Fiddle, over okay. the years. all right. And, of course, this kind of looks like Moses, so, you know, this You're is You're right. A, so. <laughs> all right, well, So, okay. you want to hear Tim? What I'm doing I is do. putting my shoulder rest on, and I, and I do love a shoulder rest for all you musicians out there thinking about playing the fiddle or the violin. Shoulder rest really helps, actually, with your posture, with yeah, the does. holding the fiddle up. It's going to help awesome. me hold it up there. Otherwise, you slouch a lot. This really takes a lot of weight off your arm as well. Okay. So you wanted to hear little jingle bells, right? Sure.
like breath. It depends. Can they? How uh, well, long? How, well, it depends. Y'all know the song Mary Had a Little Lamb. Have you yes. heard that song yes. before? I'm going to say, I'm going to give a challenge here. I'm going to say that I can teach both of them to play Mary Had a Little Lamb in, I would say, five minutes or less. No. I will say five minutes or less. Wow. We'll be right back. All and right. We'll try that. All How's right. That? And thank you. For more simple exercises, go to WOMIOwensboro.com or shapebyfaith.com. Bye.